The Cod Wars were a trilogy of wars that lasted for 18 years overall, between 1958 and 1976. Iceland was starting to get very worried about the overfishing of cod around their country. Experts predicted that if nothing was done to stop this overfishing, there would be no cod left in 1980. Iceland depends very heavily on the fishing industry due to their lack of other resources. Cod is a very popular food in many places, and in Great Britain, it is one of the main ingredients in dishes such as fish and chips. The exclusive economic zone is the area of sea around a country in which the country can fish in exclusively. In 1958, the exclusive economic zone was only four miles. Iceland wanted to change this. Iceland declared the exclusive economic zone around their country to be 12 miles, much to the displeasure of Great Britain. This act began the first of three Cod Wars. After three months' time, Great Britain finally agreed to let the exclusive economic zone be 12 miles, ending the First Cod War. Fourteen years later, Iceland decided it was not good enough and extended the exclusive economic zone to 50 miles. Great Britain did not agree to this and still let their fishermen fish within the 50 miles. To protect the area, the Icelandic Coast Guard would cut the nets of British fishermen who were within the 50-mile radius. The Andromeda, which had been tracking us on radar since before dawn, appeared alongside at 11.30. This was Thor's first operation on her latest tour of duty on the fishing grounds. Ahead of us, still not visible, was the Grimsby trawler Ross Resolution. For Andromeda, the task of heading us off for Thor, the problem of how to overcome the frigate's higher speed and maneuver close enough to the trawler to cut her nets. And then finally, in 1975, Iceland declared that the exclusive economic zone would be 200 miles. Great Britain was getting really annoyed and tried their best to allow their fishermen to fish within those 200 miles. They even sent in warships to protect their men, and in the end, 37 Royal Navy warships had taken part, whereas Iceland only deployed a total of eight ships. In the three Cod Wars, rammings were the most common way of attack, and as a result of these rammings, an Icelandic boat once started to sink. Eventually, Iceland broke off diplomatic relations with Great Britain. Because of this, people in Iceland began questioning its place in NATO. Anti-NATO demonstrations even occurred and people tried to block movement to and from the American NATO base in Iceland. On June 2, 1976, with the help of the Secretary General of NATO, Dr. Joseph Lunds, Great Britain and Iceland reached an agreement. For six months, Great Britain would be allowed to have 24 trawlers within a 200 mile radius of Iceland at any one time. Iceland was also allowed to stop and inspect any of those trawlers if they suspected something was off. However, after six months, no British trawler was to be allowed in the 200 mile radius. The Cod Wars had many effects on the world. For instance, in 1958, the United Nations held the first international conference of the Law of the Seas in which they discussed things such as deciding a universal exclusive economic zone. The 200 mile exclusive economic zone is now mostly universal. The Cod Wars were the first serious conflicts over fish to happen in modern times. The struggle between Iceland and Great Britain showed how seriously nations took their fishing rights.